Stranger Things may just be the most homage-heavy television show in history, thanks to the Duffer Brothers' deep love for all things 80s. It's a passion we here at Movie Nerds also share, so we've decided to honour this nostalgia-soaked masterclass by looking at the subtle and not-so-subtle references to the films that inspired the Netflix phenomenon. If this is your first time here and you want to know a little bit more about movies, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything here at Movie Nerds. Where did this come from? From the mind of a 12-year-old boy? Although this film's themes of time travel don't bear much resemblance to Stranger Things beyond the 80s setting, the success of the show may be the sole reason why studios have decided to remake Flight of the Navigator some 31 years after its release. Sit down, Navigator. Aside from the fact there's a poster for the thing hanging in Mike's basement, the influence of the practical effects that were pioneered in John Carpenter's cult classic had a strong impact on the way the Duffer Brothers approached the show. You know how they did that? You know what that is? <laughs> what? Melted plastic and microwave bubblegum. No way. The whole kids communicating via walkie-talkie thing is a staple of 80s movies. But one of the best examples is in Joe Dante's film about a group of teenagers who design their own spaceship. Ben, it's three o'clock in the morning. This better be good. You can also add this to the list of films Hollywood will probably remake one day. You're an idiot, Steve Harrington. Sure, you could say that Steve's hair bears an uncanny resemblance to Johnny Depp's character. But thematically speaking, the similarities to Nightmare on Elm Street go much deeper than that complete with its own monster who terrorises children in ever more horrific ways. It's clear that Ridley Scott's Alien had a profound influence on the world of Stranger Things, whether it be the similarities in costume design to the production design of the Upside Down itself. Is this where it came from? Yes. And if you needed any more proof, just take one look at this marketing poster for season two. The Duffer Brothers have made no secret of their deep love for all things Stephen King, so it should come as no surprise to see this 1984 adaptation of King's Firestarter on our list. The film revolves around a nine-year-old girl with pyrokinetic abilities who's controlled by an evil government agency. Remind you of anyone? The way in which Dustin, Lucas, Mike and Will embrace adventure and attract mischief draws unmistakable parallels to the Goonies. From the character with the obvious quirk, to the older brother with a crush. Basically, without the Goonies, there pretty much is no Stranger Things. Mike! I found a chocolate bunny! Oh, they got praline and cream and they got Mississippi mud and they got chocolate eruption! If you didn't get a strong Stand By Me vibe from Stranger Things right away, you sure as hell would have by the time this moment in Season 1 came around. This is an almost identical shot that strongly evokes Rob Reiner's classic coming-of-age drama. There are several strong references to Poltergeist in Stranger Things, the most obvious of which occurs during this scene, when Winona Ryder's Joyce attempts to contact her son in a familiar manner. Even the most casual film fan would have picked up on the Spielbergian vibes from the very first frame of Stranger Things. Apart from the obvious link of Eleven and Mike's relationship echoing Elliot's and E.T.'s, there's also the shady government agency, a family rocked by divorce, and a small town set against the backdrop of a deep, dark forest. Ah, oh, and then there's this scene. That's it for this week's top 10. To let us know what film Stranger Things reminded you of, hit us up in the comments below. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to Movie Nerds.